In this video, I'll explain you in which circumstances you can travel to France for non-Europeans, for Europeans, after the new regulation. Welcome to Francization, this is Mustafa. In this video, again, I'm trying to help you foreigners who lives in France or who has an intention to live in France or interested in France. So last week there was an update and there are new stricter rules at the border. Maybe you are outside of the country, maybe you're planning your trip outside of the country, maybe you're in another European country trying to come back, or maybe you were on vacation and checking with the new rules how you can get in France. So I understand all the possible concerns and with these concerns I was doing some research. Right now we have the government's announcement and government's guide, uh, the messages from embassies, the messages from schools, schools announcement and I also asked some Facebook groups to if if they have any experience by train, by plane for Europeans, for non-Europeans, how does it work with the new rules at the airport, at the train and during onboarding, all of them. I'm gonna explain all of them in this video. So last week Sunday, France closed its borders to many non-European countries and the rules are even more stricter right now for even European countries. With the new rules, basically, they need you to prove that you have an important business in France or if you're traveling uh, to outside of France, that you need to explain what is your reason. So this reason might be a business related, maybe a family member is suffering from an illness and you need to go there or it's your health reason. If you can prove that, if you can certify that, then you have a chance, still you have a chance to get in the country or leave the country. I'm sharing this link below in the description. You can find the government's guide, you can find the detailed information to your situation, you can find all these certificates uh, that you need to prepare and requirements. Well, without saying, of course you need PCR, negative PCR test right now. Even though there are some requirements, I've been checking groups what happen with people traveling by train, by plane. Sometimes they only ask negative PCR tests and they didn't require these uh, certificates that you need to state. However, well, it is a chance they might ask you and there has been issues too. I'm gonna explain, I'm gonna uh, tell you these too. So they refused to go out country because they didn't have reason. So make sure that you have your all required papers and you have all the certificates that you need to and, and negative PCR test. This is very important to travel at the moment. For non-Europeans, rules are a little more stricter. So you need to have a valid reason. You need to be able to certify the reason you are going in the country or leaving the country. Even though you have a permit of residence, long-term permit of residence, doesn't matter. So the reasons actually you can travel you can travel in this country, you have a valid visa. So this visa might be a student visa, long-term, short-term, doesn't matter. Um, you might be a researcher, you might be a professor in a university, or you're holding a passport talon, which is uh, you have a company here or you are working with a long-term contract. You're a crew member or a driver of a commercial vessel if you're working there, if you're working a train, if you're um, in, the, in, the, in the plane, then you, of course, can get in the country or you can leave the country, even though you're a non-European. So here's the thing, there's a long list that you can check, link in the below, and the detailed list is there, you can check if it fits to your situation or not. So here is the important thing. With the order of Minister of Interior, Gérald Darmanin, uh, the controls at the border is right now, it's more strict and they might even prevent you to onboard to the plane if you come into France. They definitely require additional proof, additional documents, definitely negative PCR tests right now. Considering this information, if you have an intention to travel, please call the airline and ask uh, what, if you can onboard the plane or what is the requirement paper for you, if they would take you to plane, if you provide these papers. So please call them and make sure you're safe. In addition to this, a school just announced by emails, uh, sent an email to students and said, there has been some issues with some students, they couldn't come back uh, France 
sometimes this might ha happen so to be safe you should stay in france or if you really have to travel maybe you need to talk to embassy maybe just contact to airlines and make sure that you can come in france make sure you have all the required documents in the meantime they of course say if you're a student your uh, status as a student might not be enough to travel from france or to france an acquaintance uh, who has a long-term visa in France actually tried to go to Turkey and border police said you cannot go because you don't have a valid reason even though uh, he has a nationality of Turkey. So it didn't matter, it didn't matter, you really need to have a valid and good reason and certify that. Another information, a friend came from Germany this weekend and they didn't really check anything. Uh, he was driving uh, at the border, they are just uh, selecting five cars and they're controlling randomly. So there's a good chance that they're not gonna control you if you're coming by car. I'm sharing the link below, government's website. You're gonna have a detailed list there for, uh, it's separated for Europeans, for non-Europeans and they're providing the certificates that you need to fill and all the information you can find in there, the details. Stay safe, if you really don't need to travel, don't travel because it's risky and if you really have to travel, make sure you're calling the airlines, you're calling the embassy and you have the detailed information and all the papers and negative PCR test. And if you have more information, if you recently traveled after these new regulations, please comment down below so we can learn what is going on at the borders. Thank you for watching this video. I'll be sharing more videos in this channel about France. If you're interested in France, if you're living in France, don't forget subscribing below and see you in the next video.